<laughs> uh, this Bismarck uh -huh, was determined to unite Germany under a Prussian king uh -huh, <laughs> after the war with France in 1870 to 1871 uh -huh, ended in victory for Prussia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the German emperor was proclaimed in 1871 and William I of Prussia was emperor. <laughs> See the Franco-Prussian War. <laughs> Now, Prussia uh -huh, was by far the largest and most powerful state in the German Empire. <laughs> the Junkers, <laughs> a powerful landowning and military <laughs> group in East Prussia, controlled Prussia and therefore much of the German Empire. <laughs> With the overthrow of the German Empire in 1918, a small part of West Prussia <laughs> uh, became part of Poland. <laughs> How is the nation of Poland? <laughs> You know, uh, being Polish, yes, I just wondered, was, am I from that small part? I thought I was from the Lithuanian Polish part of Poland, yes, like the uh, southeastern part of Poland, yeah, <laughs> approximate location. <laughs> you know, um, this Prussia, yeah. <laughs> I think they had a little something to say about the Revolutionary War and the Constitution, these various rights. Yes. <laughs> now, some of these kings, yeah, if you really think about them, yeah, they were probably like, well, sure, you can divorce your wife. <laughs> See, it's like a royal edict or something that <laughs> if I could prove I'm the actual <laughs> direct descendant of the King of Prussia, yes, <laughs> I could offer quickie annulments for all of those that were sold into the family. <laughs> Now, when you think about the breast sizes of those that get the greatest amount of price, yes, I was thinking that a large number of individuals have been matching citizens with those in the family without telling them that they were actually marrying a dog. Right now. Now, as a king, I think that I would have the authority to annul any marriage of any nation of the United States or any nation of the world. Wait a second, any nation of the United States? <laughs> Let's say oh, <laughs> that you refuse to enforce the laws of the state of Washington. Yes, because you won't follow state law. No, <laughs> you won't enforce federal laws. No, you won't give me my sons. Yes, and I was able to... Um, We'll get some documentation about exactly who it was that paid for the setting up of the United States. <laughs> United States Treasury. <laughs> you know, as much as we dislike the thought, <laughs> um, I just wanted to get some presents for all of you in office today. <laughs> I'm sure if I sent you a bottle, yes, a fifth, <laughs> though they say they're leaders now, and <laughs> we only, <laughs> see, that's what I don't understand. I just seen 500 milliliters as a half a liter. Yes. Well, I thought we used fifths, yes, half gallons and gallons. <laughs> now, did somebody change the actual, um, uh, well, I'm an alcoholic. I haven't actually bought alcohol in 25 years. <laughs> Did you go to the store last night and get yourself a liter of alcohol? <laughs> You've been drinking quite a bit, have you? <laughs> You're in office in the... <laughs> well, why don't I buy you the next fucking bottle right now? <laughs>